What's up, you guys? Freaking Nerd Mario and... Freaking Nerdly. Bring you guys another parking lot review. Hey. Today, we went to our local showcase to see Transformers. Robots Rise. in disguise. Just kidding. Sorry. Rise of the Beasts. Uh, man, this was a lot of fun. I guess let's, let's do this. We'll have the non-Transformers junkie go first and then the Transformers guy go. Spoiler free. Uh, Lee, what were your thoughts on this movie? This movie was freaking excellent. Oh my god. It was uh, it was so good. This is the first time I've come out of a movie theater feeling like I'm ready to go. Motivated. Hype. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I went to an early screening, so I'm ready for the rest of the day. You yeah, thank god I mean? we're streaming tonight. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we we got up early today to to come see it. It's eleven forty five AM showing. Uh I thought yes, this was phenomenal. Uh, it was promised to be better than the first Transformers movie that ever came out, the first Michael Bay one, and I agree. Yes. This is the best one since the first one that came out, because I really enjoyed the first one, and I like the second. I've been on record saying the second one's good, too, but it, get, it declines really fast after that. Um, yeah, I think this is really cool. Uh, a lot of new Autobots that, you know, are in previous movies are in this, which is really cool. Um, soundtrack. This movie really is a love letter to 90s kids. You and stole my 90s line. people. Did you say that? In the theater I said that. Well, quote Lee saying it's a love letter to 90s kids. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, a bunch of 90s hip-hop needle drops in this movie. And, and of course, is, is, there is, is a human story to this, too. The with, human story was the best part, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I was going to say that, one, I actually felt for the humans. Usually in movies like this or like Godzilla, I don't care about the human story. I want to see the monsters fight and the robots fight. Mm -hmm. This is when I was like, oh, I really care about these characters. And um, going back to the 90s thing, uh, I really believe they were not like 90s kids. You know what I mean? I, they're not really kids. They're like teenagers, I guess. But like, it's like, remember we watched that 90s show? They're, they're they're actually young adults. Sure, young adults. But I but I believe they were from that era. I felt that they were like in that era because when like '90s show, they were young, young kids and like they just didn't feel like '90s kids at all. These guys, they felt like they're in the '90s. Like there there are some '90s callbacks, a lot of '90s callbacks. But we won't spoil the actual story of like the Autobots and everything else. Um, what you think of the Autobots? I thought they were awesome. I, the whole thing, honestly, from start to end, I felt like the pacing was excellent. I felt like at the very end, I really, oh my God, I thought that they were setting up for a part two. I, I thought that they were setting up, like, I thought that it, the whole movie was going to be a setup like Spider-Man was. Mm. And they wrapped it up perfectly. Like, the climax was climactic. There was a beginning, a middle, and an end. And the end was freaking epic. It was just, it was a, oh, God, it was such a good movie. Yeah, the, the end, not without spoiling it, stay for the end. The end is really cool. Uh, it's something that we were, we, we kind of talked about in the podcast with the predictions mm. very lightly. You mean the final scene? Uh, the final scene in the movie, yeah. You get a little bit of a credit. It's kind of a mid-credit thing. We get the little opening credits with the, the Autobots blasting, and then you get a, a scene. There's no end, end, end credit scene. Uh, but that's it. And, um, yeah, it's opening for other things to happen in this universe. I feel like they're... Hasbro's killing it. Hasbro is, is killing it right now. Um, Such a good movie. And, but yeah, and, uh, the Autobots are cool. Uh, definitely, they definitely booked Mirage as, like, the Bumblebee, the new Bumblebee. Because Bumblebee's in this movie, but he's not top booking anymore. You know what I, mean? I freaking loved how yeah I love that they're spotlighting different Autobots. Yeah. Let's let's not spoil anything. Yeah, we're let's talk about this more anything. after. Okay. What's your what's your nerdies? My nerdies. I'm gonna give this nine out of ten. I was also gonna go nine out of ten. I think this is this is a great. This is a solid movie. nine movie. This I is on no par with Shang Chi. I have no complaints. Yeah, I'm sure there's like certain things. It's a short movie, two hours. Yeah, but it's it's perfectly paced. Perfectly paced, and like there's other things that like I'm sure there's like little gripes. You got to marinate on it. We're in the parking lot. You know, look what happened with Spider Man. 
I gave it an 8 out of 10. And then, like, in the podcast, I finally marinated on it, on it. So, the parking lot review is going to be 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. So, I, I think that's what we're going to do from now on. We're going to have our parking lot review and then, like, our marinated review. Okay. Our score, you know? Because it, it's it's always, there's always that initial hype when you first come out of the movie. Even, like, Mike has talked about it. Like, you're very hyped when you get out of the theater and you're like, everything's a freaking 10. But then you sit on it you're kind of like, okay, there's some issues I had when you think about it. But, like, once you're, once you're high in the adrenaline, like, I'm still like shaking with that last like half of that movie is a super epic and uh i felt good the whole there. movie is about perseverance too. yes that's the main theme of the perseverance is pushing through like you know if if you feel like you're hitting a wall you keep going and i feel like that is a message that some of us really needed to hear mm. so go see it it's an excellent movie really high scores over here if the critics are bagging it, don't listen to the critics because it's phenomenal. Yeah, I'm super curious to see. Like as of right now, we don't know the audience score. We're gonna look at this after, and um, we'll go from there and see where we go. Okay, I said ninety. I'm still stick with ninety. Ninety percent. Yep. What'd you say? I was lower than that. You were eighty something. A lot of you guys are eighty or something. So I'm still stick with nineties because I love my Transformers. All right. Uh, but okay, let us know in the uh, comments what are what's your score? No spoilers. No spoilers. Give, give us your score, and uh, we'll we'll talk more about this in the uh, near future. Yep. But until then, stay friggin' nerdy and Autobots roll out.